Ooh. Y'all need a little refresher on this one right here. It's almost crawfish season again. Oh, let's get more, get more. Oh, yes. Woohoo! Crawfish etouffee, ladies and gentlemen. Paya! Time to get cracking on some vegetables. So what we have here is two yellow onions, one green bell pepper, one red bell pepper, two sticks of celery, and one bunch of green onions. Let's do this. Choo! Hiya! Got to get rid of this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, over to our hot pan. We about to get some butter melted. Butter, party or two, let me show you around. Around this pan. Get yourself melted. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and raise the heat to about medium. So that way it's nice and hot when we saute the vegetables. All right, now that our butter has melted, we drop in our vegetables. It looks like Christmas. All right guys, so we're gonna let this saute for about 30 minutes. And then we are going to add some flour to this. So stay tuned. All right, so this has been sauteing for about 20 minutes now. So at about this point, I'm gonna go ahead and get some garlic chopped up and throw it in. So I got four cloves of garlic. I'm gonna get that chopped up. And there you go. Let's put this in the pot. Booyah! Blend that in. Okay guys, so before we add the flour in, we're gonna go ahead and season this. One tablespoon of Cajun or Creole seasoning. One fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And one fourth teaspoon of salt, just for a little added flavor. Let's blend that around. True, let me tell you guys, when all these flavors come together in an etouffee, it is magic. I mean, every bit of these vegetables gets sweated down to just their natural flavors. And it just has this great, great salty, sweet aroma. It's really good. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and start getting all these vegetables to one side of this pan. So that way I can add some flour right here into this direct liquid butter and get a roux going. Okay, so I'm adding one third cup of all purpose flour. Stir that around. Get that blended really good. All right, once it starts looking creamy like that, go ahead and blend it all together. We're going to cook this down for another 30 minutes. So during this process, you're going to really want to baby it because uh, the butter is now mixed with flour, so it could easily burn to the bottom of the pan. So you just want to make sure you keep stirring, keep things moving. It's going to come along real nice. These vegetables are going to get so soft. I'm telling you, if you are someone who do not like vegetables in your food, you say, oh, I don't like the texture. I'm telling you, when it's done like this, you cannot even tell. I could blindfold you and you're just going to go, man, that tastes good. <laughs> Trust me. So look, some people are going to tell you, I add the green onions in later, or I do this, or I do that, and da 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 But look, everybody got a way of doing things. 
I do it like this because I just find everything comes together. It cooks down all into one consistency and the vegetables pretty much become the sauce. So do it however you like, but this is how I get down. Ooh, we real close. Okay, so look, I got about two minutes left here. So in the microwave, I'm heating up two cups of water. We wanna get that nice and hot. Bam. Okay, our water is hot. It's been another 30 minutes of cooking. At this time, we're gonna add a little bit of this hot water to this pan. There we go. Start stirring. All right, good. We got a little more in here. Perfect. Turn that in. Look at those colors coming together. Whoo, look at this. Beautiful. Okay, at this time, we're going to go ahead and add two pounds of Louisiana crawfish. We bought the frozen packs, but they are Louisiana manufactured. Trust me, that's the route you want to go. All right. Get these stirred in. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our hot water. Booyah. Turn that around. Looking so good. Oh my goodness. Oh man. That is where we need to be. Okay, so we're just raising the heat just a little bit here. Try and get a little bit of a slight boil. And once we achieve that, we're going to cover this and let it simmer on a low heat for about 20 minutes. And we're going to be good to go. That's what you're looking for. Cover it up and lower your fire to a simmering heat. And you want to cook some rice, so get started. Just to let you guys know, it's okay to come and stir this about once every five minutes or so, just so nothing sticks to the bottom. Time to get things wide open, ladies and gentlemen. HDTV don't mean that much to me Cause I got higher definition in my reality Ta -ta oh, 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 man. This is crawfish etouffee at its finest. Look at that beautiful color. Oh my goodness, all them vegetables up in there. Man. Well, I ain't wasting no time, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to plate up. Let's go. Get a hold, uh huh. Bury them dollars with some milk or grow. It ain't that hard, it's easy to see. Man, that smells so good while it's cooking. It's really hard to wait this long to take a bite. My mouth is just salivating. Whew. But it's time. <laughs> Let's go. That's a thing of beauty. My goodness. If you have never had crawfish etouffee before, it is the most unique thing you'll ever eat. It's just this buttery rich flavor that's, you know, got these great hints of Cajun seasoning and some spice. And then all those vegetables, the bell pepper, the onion, the green onion, that garlic, they all blend together. It just tastes so good. I mean, it's one of those things, if you've had it as a kid, every time you eat it, it just kind of takes you back to when you were young and you had it, you know? Mmm. I'm telling you, make it like this, serve it to your grandma, and she's gonna say, I'm so glad that one of y'all took after me. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, Thank y'all all once again for tuning into this video. I really appreciate it. All your support means so much to me. And uh, I'm just gonna keep on crack a lacking. So until next time. Paya! What if I don't pass? What if I can't make it? It's all good with just students for that. There's no teeth.
just here to grade it.